this is Tracy from Get Basket Appeal, and I'm doing a Mod Podge project. This is the bottle I'm going to be working on, and this is a uniquely shaped bottle. I really love the way it looks, and I'm going to be using this napkin. So one of my crafty friends sent me this napkin, and I think it's just absolutely beautiful. But this is all the napkin I have. So what I'll be doing is doing a decoupage project where I kind of rip away different pieces and apply them to my bottle. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, and if you watch my videos before, I'm going to paint my bottle and I'm going to paint it white because the background of my napkin is white also. So this is going to look really pretty when I start pulling away some of the artwork from this. I'm going to be using just a regular acrylic paint. I usually use Apple Barrel, and you can pick these up at uh, Walmart for like 50 cents. So I pick up some of these smaller bottles, and I'm using Snow White. But you can use any of the white um, to put on your bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this. And when I apply my paint, all I'm doing is making sure that I have enough coverage Sometimes I only go up to this area right here, um, right at the neck of the bottle, but I'm going to go ahead and just paint the whole thing. And so I want to apply two coats of paint to this. And then I do have some decoration that I'm going to be using on this also to decorate the top area of this. So this goes on nice and smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and paint my bottle with two coats. I usually paint one coat, let it dry for about 30 minutes, and then I apply another coat and let that dry. So you can do a bunch of these. You don't have to have a whole napkin. As you can see, I'm just using part of a napkin. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so once the bottle is dry, um, you've got your two coats on, and it's also going to depend on how many, how heavy you put your coats on on those. Now you're going to take your napkin and start tearing it uh, just around the artwork that you want. So I don't like definite lines on there, so I like to tear away the edges as well. And so for smaller napkins where you don't have a whole lot, you can just tear the portions that you want and then apply it to your bottle. And you could use this technique on any of the bottles. It doesn't matter what shape it is. It's a great way to make use of your napkin, especially when you don't have a lot. Now I also like to tear away this napkin um, before I pull the backing off, since it's a two-ply napkin. So we're going to be doing that next. This particular napkin pulls apart pretty easy. It's a two-ply napkin, so you want to go ahead and pull that apart like this. Okay. So I did pull a few of these apart already. So this came apart pretty easy. Okay, and if you can't get this to pull apart, let's see if I did this one already. If you can't get it to pull apart, then all you do is wet your fingertips. And so I've already done this, so that's good to go. Okay, so now you're going to take your bottle, 
And I'm going to take my Mod Podge, and the Mod Podge looks like white, white paint, but it's not. And I will make sure I list all of the supplies you'll need. I'm using my sponge brush. I always love to use my sponge brush. And then I'm just going to apply the area, apply some Mod Podge to the area where I want to place the napkin. Okay, so let's get, let me get one of these longer pieces here. And I'm going to take some saran wrap or some cling wrap and I just ball it up because it works for me. And then I'm just going to smooth it where I put that Mod Podge. And look how smooth that went on. Oh my goodness, I'm loving this already. Yep, and it blends in so nicely with the white base. Okay, so let's see. Let me work on this side right here. Let's see. I think I'll put this one... Hmm, let's see. I'm going to just kind of rip that off and just use the bird for right now. I'm going to put my bird right here and smooth it down. And I'm just going along the edges and then just kind of going outward. Oh, and I'm loving that black and white. Just a hint of like a beige or tan color on there. This is one of those easy weekend projects that you can do. Low stress. Something about smoothing Mod Podge and paint on a surface or changing the look of something just makes me feel really good. Okay, let's see if that'll fit there. We'll come up a little bit more. You want to make sure you have enough Mod Podge on there to cling it on there. And I'm going to have to come over here a little bit more. This piece is a little bit bigger. So glad I saved this napkin for the perfect project. Okay. So it's like fitting a puzzle together and breaking up the napkin and putting it wherever you want to put it. So that way you're, control, you're in control of where your artwork goes. An airmail right there. So we have so far. Let me just smooth this one down just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to do something with this part. That's why I'm not going all the way up there with that. Because I'm going to actually do something around that top there. Let's see what we got here. I think another bird would be nice in this area. And I'm tempted to use my hands. Because I'm used to working with my hands. So just try not to. Use, use the saran wrap to smooth it out. And I've learned from my own mistake using my 
hands and actually ripping the napkin. But the saran wrap is the key to giving a nice smooth finish. Okay, now I just have to see if there's any other pieces I want to use on here. I think I might want to put this part that says Vintage Home. Let's see if I can get all of that on there. Try not to come up too high on there. Let's see. I'm going to separate these. See, because you can do that. Use my fingers there, let's see. Okay. I'm going to put another, make sure I have enough smooth down on there. And I'm going to put something right across here too. Just going to fit the word vintage right in there. Let's see, something about not having those definite lines on there that really makes a difference. And I need to put something around the bottom there. I got a big open space right there. And this makes that little bit of napkin go a long way. Let's see. There. Just trying to fit everything in there. Right about there. I am loving this. Look what we've got so far. And when it all dries up, it's going to be so pretty. I'm just going to fill in a couple more little spaces and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and go over my napkins now, just lightly brushing it and brushing up around the edges and out. And that way they won't lift up. Um, they're pretty much on there, but I just want to make sure that they don't lift up around the edges. And I'm just making a nice light coat of Mod Podge to give it that shine and a nice finish on it. And it's cloudy, as usual. Um, don't worry about that. It'll dry very clear. And so if you want to use like a matte finish Mod Podge, you can. This one is a glossy Mod Podge. Um, this is the one I, I normally use for all my stuff. Um, hopefully I can get my hands on some matte finish and do a project using the matte to see what it looks like. So I want to make sure those edges are down on there. So I'm just kind of lightly going on from the inside out toward the edges. And 
And I see, I've seen this done so many different ways. You just have to choose the technique that's good for you. And I did let this dry a little bit, not completely, um, but I did let it dry a little bit, so just enough to work with it so the napkin is, is somewhat dry on there and it won't rip. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to come back and decorate the top part of this. Okay, so this is what I have so far. And look how pretty that is. I let it uh, sit for about 45 minutes and it's not completely dry, but it's enough for me to handle it. So I usually let this uh, dry from anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. And so on the top, I wanted to use something that I had gotten from Dollar Tree. And I found these over in the Bowen gift wrap area. And so I thought this was really cute. Um, so I'm gonna take this part right here. I'm not really gonna use that, but it is quite pretty. I might use that in a different project. And then I wanna take this. And it's like a twine. And I thought this would be nice to put a white twine on this, but you can do this in any color, but I thought the white would look really nice. And just to add some texture. So let's see how it works using the Mod Podge. Um, since Mod Podge is sticky, just around the base here or the neck. See how this works. I'm gonna put a pretty good amount on there because I really want this to stay on. Now if I need to switch to my hot glue gun, I can do that. I hope y'all are inspired by this project. And I've got my dog over here making noise, so if you hear some background noise, it's my dog Cinnamon. So I'm just kind of wrapping this around. And I just feel like it gives it a little bit more uh, dimension. And so if I need to go and get my glue gun out, I could always do that too. But this looks like it's gonna work pretty good. And I want it to kind of have a shabby look to it so it doesn't have to be real neat. So this is working. I've had this in my stash. I have one in a light blue. I've had this in my stash for a while now. And so it's great for gift wrap, but I thought I'd use it to decorate a bottle. Add a little bit more Mod Podge on here. And I'm, I'm putting on quite a generous amount of Mod Podge on this top because I, I want it to stick to itself, but I also want it to stick to the bottle. So far, so good. And I am really loving the way this is turning out. And 
And I think these bottles make great gifts. So this is a great way to upcycle something that you already have. And uh, many of you have asked me where I get my bottles from. I get them from a restaurant um, because the restaurant actually throws them out. So I am very happy to take a few of these offhand. This particular bottle though was given to me by my sister. So I always have family saving stuff for me. And so what a nice piece of artwork. I can take something that would have normally been thrown away and just turn it into something that I can actually give away as a gift. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to end it right about there. And see, I could still have enough to use for something else. And so now I can put a flower in here. Um, I was thinking of topping this off with a red rose, possibly. I'm not sure yet still. But you could put a flower in it or just leave it plain. I think this would look nice in... Um, like on a vanity, maybe in one of the re a guest bathroom, maybe. And I will be sure to post some pictures for you. But look how pretty that is. Now, if you want, you can go in and do some other things using some maybe some um, stickles. Uh, let me just take a look at what I have here. Now I have some, if I was to put stickles on here, I have some ice stickles in this silver color. I think would look pretty in certain areas of this. Just giving you ideas of what you can do. Um, if you want to, if I want, I can take some rhinestones and put some rhinestones on here as well. Just hot glue some rhinestones on. So there's so much you can do. I could also take maybe like a, um, let's see what I have here. Always got stuff in here. I can take some of this, maybe go around the top with it. Another idea. But I just kind of like this look. Let's see. Maybe around here. I could cut this smaller. This is that um, diamond wrap from the Dollar Tree. And so I've got all my little extra pieces in there. So this is just another thing you can do with it. Just to give you some ideas, this would be nice for like, um, if you're having a women's luncheon or something, I think these would be nice centerpieces too. So it just depends on what you want to do, how you want to use it. I hope this really inspired you. I'm really loving the way it turned out. And if you haven't subscribed yet to our crafty family, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment below because I always love to hear from you all. And hit the thumbs up. Let me know that you love this video. And I will see you real soon. Bye.